Hey y'all, so I've been seeing a whole bunch of these unboxing of all of these super expensive boxes and I wanted to do something for my friend, but I am broke. So here is what I found at the dollar store and maybe it'll give you guys some ideas on what you can do without having to pay 40 bucks and plus for some subscription boxes that who knows whether they'll use the item more than once. So here it goes. To start off with, I found this drawstring bag at the dollar store and I just took a white fabric marker and wrote Mrs. on it. I also found this bride-to-be sash there as well as this wifey ring dish. This necklace I actually happened to have at home already so that didn't actually cost anything. I was also able to find a pack of socks and I just drew some the words wifey for lifey on the bottoms of it. Obviously it looks homemade and I don't know for me I don't really care. I if somebody gave me something like this I would wear it anyway personally and I'm hoping my friends feel the same. I was also able to find these cute spa type slippers and I just went over um, in fabric marker again because obviously I really like fabric markers but they're just simple little spa shoes um, slipper type things that they can wear around the house they're definitely not very good quality I mean they're dollar store but I mean how long are they really going to want to wear these anyway? I also found this cute ring hanging decoration and I think it's adorable. It's definitely not as high quality as like those ring balloons but I mean we're working with dollar store items here so <laughs> and then I found this um, facial cleanser and face mask which I've used and it seems to work pretty well for my skin at least. Can't say about everybody. But um, then I also found this Enjoy the Ride notepad, which I just thought was so cute. Because getting engaged, getting married is such a ride. Like, there's so much that goes into it and it's really hard some days. But I just thought it was really cute. And then, of course, there's the diamond pen. Um, just so fun, so cute. Um, I happen to have one, a set of 16 of these that I got from a friend, so I'm just giving one of them to my other friend here. Um, I also found these scrunchies, and I love the little saying to having to hold your hair back, so I just stuck that on there. Um, definitely just put it together with tape, nothing fancy. Also, to go along with the uh, spa type thing, I found this manicure set. It has nail clippers, um, also has nail file, trimmer scissors, cuticle pusher, so that was pretty cool. I also, I happen to have these um, diamond paper clips that I think are so fun. They're so cute. Um, and they work really well. I honestly have no idea where I got them from, but they work really well. So I just gave half of them to her and I kept half of them for myself. Um, I also found this cute little blue candle, again, to go with the spa theme. Um, definitely, um, would use myself. I have used this candle before. Um... Dollar Store has some good stuff, you guys. I also had just this um, set in hands by Mary Kay at home. Um, pretty sure it was a free sample that I got from a cousin or something. And then, again, 
more free sample stuff. I got these quest, uh, crest white strips. So I just have um, a sample package of that that I'm going to give her as well. And then inside the box I've got this fun plastic sparkly uh, filler and a lint roller which honestly would be useful to get all of the sparkly stuff out of off of everything else and then there's just some cookies and cream kisses intermixed to go along with the theme of something blue and I just taped something to the inside of this box honestly this box just came with a t-shirt um, but uh, I just reinvented it so that I can give it away. Definitely a be firm believer in regifting. So I'm just taking some tissue paper from, again, the dollar store. Uh, dollar store is your friend, guys. And I'm just slowly packing in all of the items into the box. Now that I've gotten all of the items in there, and it honestly doesn't really matter how you organize it because I, or at least if you do it like me, I literally am just going to stick all of the glittery, frilly, plasticky stuff on top anyway, so it's not like they're going to be able to see anything, so just pack it in however you want, and especially if it's going to be moving around. So now that it's filled with this awesome sparkly stuff, so now I've just folded over the tissue paper and I can take one of my little stickers here and stick it on there and it's all done. Obviously it's not like a professional subscription box and I'd probably stick a letter up over by the blue, but um, it's a lot more full and it only cost me 20 bucks, guys. So, obviously, I had some of the stuff on hand. So, that would cut down the cost a lot. But, seriously, 20 bucks for a $40 subscription box with, like, five times as many items. I feel pretty good about it. So, thanks for watching, and I hope this gives you some good ideas.